Bonjour, je suis Hervé Pifteau de Chantier Jeannot. Hello, this is Hervé Pifteau from Jeannot. This is an introduction to the Sunfast 3600, the new 36-foot vessel in the Sunfast line, the big brother to the famous Sunfast 3200. The 3200 was very successful, both commercially and in competition. To date, more than 150 Sunfast 3200s have been sold. We wanted to offer a new, bigger boat, ready for sailing offshore and racing internationally, hence the 36 feet. The boat was designed by Daniel Andrieux. Of course, the objectives were to complement the Sunfast line by using the same DNA as the 3200, correct the few flaws that were noticed, and finally, to make a more versatile boat. The Sunfast 3200 was more oriented to racing solo or double, almost exclusively in offshore races. We came to realize over the life of the Sunfast 3200 that the boat was also very successful in inshore races. So we wanted the 3600 to be very versatile. The 3600 can compete in both offshore and inshore races, both shorthanded and with a full crew. We adapted these ideas into a modular boat, especially on the outside, that can be sailed both solo and with crews up to eight, which is not easy, especially with a single deck. So, the boat can adapt to different markets. There is a choice of different helms, dual wheels or tillers, and both German and classic sheeting are available. To enhance the versatility inshore and offshore, we once again started with the very successful 3200 and developed a new IRC-optimized hull, so whatever the load, the boat remains competitive. You'll notice the very impressive cockpit, very long, and very wide, where crew movement and ergonomics were studied in depth. The front area of the cockpit is equipped with two seats to accommodate and protect the crew, especially for the long watches during offshore races. In the middle of the cockpit, with all the control lines, is the ergonomically designed maneuvering area. The primary, or Genoa winch, is accessible from the helm station, which is very handy if sailing solo or with a small crew. It was very important for us to have both a dedicated maneuvering area for a crew and winches accessible to the helmsman for solo or small crew sailing. The helm is equipped with two tillers and two rudders, as with the Sunfast 3200, and offers superb ergonomics and a clear view forward. As an option, the tillers can be replaced with wheels. The dual symmetrical wheels are installed just behind the mainsail traveler and allow for the installation of German sheeting. So, with this installation, you have a boat ready for racing with a crew, with a maneuvering area forward of the wheels and a steering and tactical area at the stern. At the back of the cockpit, between the two tillers, there are two smaller foot chocks. The life raft is stored here for quick and easy launch when needed, and so as not to disrupt maneuvers. At the stern, there is an adjustable backstay and a swimming ladder, and in front of the life raft, a deck hatch with access to a rear hold. This hold is as empty as possible for weight savings but it provides access to steering system adjustments to the steering lines, which are part of the dual wheel helm option, and the autopilot. Here we see an important design feature, the high foot shocks in the cockpit, which are ideal for bracing both the helmsman and the mainsail trimmer when heeled over. They make for a very comfortable seated position and for the mainsail trimmer, the backstay and fine main sheet adjustments are also cleated at the foot chock. Close attention was paid to the ergonomics of each station. German sheeting is an option with Harken Performer winches. 
The standard sheeting system is a large 8 to 1 dinghy type main sheet system placed on the central traveler. Sunfast 3600 fittings are the best available on the market. No compromises were made when we chose the rigging. Only the best equipment for this boat. The quattro winches from the Harkin Performa line are used on the spinnaker halyard and make setting the downwind spinnaker a faster maneuver. On the big drum, the slightest pull gives ample adjustment. The cleats are spin lock. All the fittings here are of very high quality and come standard. The Dyneema running rigging is also standard. Truly, no compromises were made with the running rigging or the fittings on this boat. If we continue on the side decks, we see the small blocks used for Genoa adjustment. The stanchions were reinforced for offshore sailing and equipped with supports for additional blocks. The shape of the tow rails was also studied to provide an efficient hold without tiring the crew who are comfortably seated while hiking out. The standard rigging is die form cable. The mast is made of aluminum or as an option of carbon. Continuing forward, here the stanchions are designed with a roller for the Genoa, which is standard equipment and reinforced for rigidity. The roof and deck, even on the sides and the hatches, have a non-slip surface to optimize traction. You won't slide wherever you step. At the bow, there is an open pulpit to allow for proper operation of the Genoa upwind. The Sunfast 3600 has two types of bowsprits. A long bowsprit, as we see here, that is optimized for an asymmetric spinnaker, and a short bowsprit for those who use a symmetrical spinnaker with a pole. These two bowsprits are designed so as to have the same rating regardless of the spinnaker chosen. So a customer can choose a symmetrical or an asymmetrical spinnaker based on their race plans and with the adapted bowsprit they will have the same rating. The boat comes standard with a single wire headstay or it can be equipped with a Harken tough luff or a removable furling system as options. The guidelines for the interior design were fairly simple. We wanted all the features of a cruising vessel, but light, less weight, always less weight. We also wanted an ergonomic layout and finally low maintenance. We deliberately set aside things such as decoration and other comfort aspects that added weight. We really wanted all the functionality but to keep the weight to a minimum. This resulted in a boat made largely of polyester with very little wood because polyester is great for weight savings as well as being easy to maintain. All the bulkheads are infusion polyester. The modules and layout elements are built on an integrated liner which again makes the interior easy to maintain. The few wood floorboards are for bilge access so wood is really kept to a strict minimum, but includes the table railings, cabinet doors and saloon table. In terms of ergonomics, on both sides of the boat, you have the famous seats that were so popular on the Sunfast 3200. The navigator can choose to be windward or leeward, whatever the ship's tack. The port side seat, very comfortable for resting during a watch, is next to a large chart table with access to all the electronics. There is extra space to accommodate optional screens. 
Standard functions are part of the stock Jano electrical panel, and on the SunFast 3600, there is also another customizable panel. This extra panel is available for equipment such as a wind turbine or a hydro generator. The chart table can stow a computer and is equipped with multiple storage spaces for navigational equipment. The compartments are very deep so that all the navigational tools can be gathered in one place. There is also a storage space behind the seat. Access to the electricity and the VHF are also next to the chart table. All the controls are gathered together in one place. On the starboard side is the galley with the ergonomic seat, a fridge, sink, stove, and storage space in the upper and lower sections. Very complete. And designed to keep the center of gravity as low as possible. This kitchen is symmetrical to the chart table area. This symmetry is consistent throughout the boat including the two aft cabins, the saloon, and the head at the bow. Usually boats of this size offer a bow cabin with a head opposite. Jano designed in this cemetery to optimize both the boat's center of gravity and to allow for the possibility of sleeping windward which enhances the quality of the crew's rest during offshore races. Now onto the saloon area. There are polyester benches, once again very easy to maintain. The upholstery by Sambrella is in a fabric designed for exterior use. It dries very quickly and is easy to maintain. It is even possible to place wet sails on it without causing any damage. The saloon table is drop leaf and has rails for ease of use at sea. Storage spaces are built in behind the saloon backrests and are very convenient for securely stowing various types of equipment. It's very interesting to raise the floorboards on the SunFast 3600. You see that the counter mold you walk on is not the structural counter mold. The structural floors on the SunFast 3600 are infused at the same time as the hull. This simultaneous infusion process of both the hull and the liner allows for a perfectly uniform structure because everything is lined and molded at the same time. Neither the counter mold nor the structure is joined with adhesive. The keel bolts with oversized counterplates hold the whole of each side of the hull tightly together. The floorboards are positioned so that each bilge is perfectly accessible. For hull calibration, it is easy to check each bilge for damage and make repairs if necessary. This assembly procedure is an innovation unique to Jano, resulting in the most rigid platform possible with minimum weight. If we continue to move forward inside the cabin, here at the mast bulkhead we find the speedometer sounder sensor access. It is easy to verify its status and cleanliness. At the bow, we find the head, with a sink, a toilet, and an optional holding tank. The space was also designed with a deck hatch, which allows for the easy stowing of a spinnaker, even when it's wet which is very convenient. This layout with the head at the bow and the cabin's aft has the advantage of a sail storage wet zone and reduced maintenance when compared to a more standard layout. The head can be closed off with sliding pocket doors. Once again, we targeted weight savings and functionality 
and thus made the bathroom private without adding weight. In front of the bathroom, there's a storage area ideal for sails and spinnakers, a kind of sail locker. Further forward is a watertight crash box that can help save the boat if damaged by collision with an object or another boat. So, if the bow is damaged, the self-writing part of the boat is not affected. Here we are in the starboard cabin of the Sunfast 3600. You can clearly see the structure of the boat and how it was made. You see that the boat is infused with a very clean, light interior without any excess resin. You can also see the chine of the hull from the inside. This chine creates a large cabin, enough for a very large bed. The Sunfast 3600, although built for competition, has two cabins worthy of a real cruising boat, with very large and comfortable beds. Once again, the cabins are perfectly symmetrical. Both cabins make the boat ideal for comfortable sleeping. Note that the cushions are split, so an anti-roll canvas can be set up to sleep two per berth, regardless of the boat's angle of heel. At the front of the cabin, there are removable canvas wardrobes, very popular on the Sunfast 3200. They can be taken home for packing, and when empty, are very light. The wardrobes, like the boat's general design, are functional, low maintenance, and again, lightweight. Between the two cabins is the companionway, entirely in polyester, which is well adapted to wet conditions. A storage space accessible from the inside and outside is built in here. It is ideal for storing a headlamp or a flashlight at night, for food or anything that should be kept dry. Access to the engine is below the detachable companionway. The engine is a 21 horsepower Yanmar sail drive. The battery is in front of the engine, near the starter, and from each cabin, through lateral access panels. In conclusion, it's clear the Sunfast 3600 is a particularly well-designed boat. Many thanks to Daniel Andrieux for this very competitive sailboat. To summarize the main design points, the boat has a hard chine hull, it's modern, with powerful and stable sailing. It has mixed ballast with a lead bulb 2.13 meters deep. The keel bulb is flush to the bow for better offshore racing security to prevent snagging nets or algae. There are double rudders for stability and performance. Really a well-designed boat. The design has shown its worth in the first regattas with very good results. Many are pleased with it. So feel free to visit the website dedicated to the Sunfast line, www.sunfast.fr, to check on the boat's victories. I also invite you, if possible, to come try it out, because sailing this boat is loving it. The handling and comfort will surprise you. It is truly a versatile and pleasant boat.